All right, smaller drop today, smaller drop. Still a drop. Well, my stupid refrigerator froze my salad last night. It's gonna, it might be bad. We'll see. It's one of the beauties of living in a motorhome. You gotta deal with the stupid motorhome refrigerators. Well, I salvaged my salad. If you've done the potato diet before, you know this. If you haven't, let me tell you, day four is always the hardest. It always is. Day four is tough. Once you're past day four, you feel like, okay. But day four, for some well, I guess if you're doing it for the week, it's like hump day. Yeah, and it just, it's just fitting that, you know, like, it'd be the day when I lost the least, so far, of course. It's the day that my salad froze, came out here to eat my car, because I saw that the sun was shining, which never happens here in Washington. I got my salad already. I was like, yes, I'm gonna come out here where it's sunny and warm. And it started raining before I got out here, so now I'm sitting in a rainy car. If my salad had not been salvageable, it was frozen, I wouldn't have had time to make anything before work. So, what I've done. I'll tell you. I would have gone to the grocery store during lunch and gotten a salad there. Most of their salads have meat in it, but you can get you can get salads there that don't have that stuff. Or you could get salads that like have meat and just not not put them in or croutons and not not dump them in, you know. So they have pre-made salads. I've done that before. And they're obviously not you don't get the quantity that you get from a salad you make at home. You want to have a good size salad. And in order to get a good size salad at grocery stores, you're going to pay like five, six bucks. I'm like, geez, I can buy two heads of lettuce and all the stuff I need for that. But that's what I would have done. You just, you don't want to go into the grocery store very often. Stay away from the grocery store. Because you'll see other things there that are delicious and tempting. You know how when you're counting calories, um, how um, you will like work out? And you'll, you'll know that you ate something that was like this many calories and then you work out for a whole long time. And if you're working like on a treadmill or something, it'll tell you how many calories you burned. You ever feel discouraged by that? Were you ever looking at those calories and you're like, oh my gosh, all I worked off was that like two pieces of bread that I ate? It's just horrible. I like this way of doing it a lot better because I'm not counting calories at all. Just... Just eating correct, I've never had to work out while I do it, and I was able to lose those initial 40 pounds without ever really focusing on exercise at all. Just being a regular person, but eating correctly. And on days when I lose only a quarter pound, you know, they can be kind of discouraging because you only see the scale go down 0.3 or 0.2 or whatever. Um, but once my wife said to me, that uh, something that really helped me. She said, you need to picture it in terms of something. And she's like, what I always do is I use a stick of butter. A stick of butter literally weighs a quarter pound. That's what a stick of butter is. I'm like, so she's like, so you, you lost a stick of butter. And if you look at that and think like, that's off of me in one day, that's pretty freaking great. Nobody should be upset about that. That's what I lost today. I went down 0.3 pounds, so. I lost a whole stick of butter off of this. If I keep losing that, that'll be great. It's a tough one, man. This is tough. I'm gonna be strong, but this is a hard one. I'm, I got a bunch to do tonight. I have to be somewhere. I gotta cook for myself somehow. I'm, I'm really hungry right now. And I don't even know what I'm gonna do for dinner. I know it's got potatoes in it, I know that. It would be so much easier to just drive somewhere and pick something up and go to where I need to go. Day four, dude. Day four is hard. I'm going to be strong, though. Roasted potatoes or something. I don't know. 
I'm at work tonight, working on a project. So I had to go home, bake potatoes, then bring them back here where I could actually cook them and eat them. I was missing some things, some ingredients for what I decided to make, so I had to stop at the store. And I made it here in my trusty toaster oven. Let me show you what I made. All right, these are my roasted potatoes and vegetables. I baked the potatoes beforehand, so they're all cooked up, ready to go before, and so they're really easy to roast. I put some green beans and some corn on there. Now, technically, I, technically I'm not supposed to eat corn or starchy stuff like that, but I, I, I don't think it's a problem. <laughs> Very little corn. I put um, pepper, salt, um, onion powder, and garlic on there. And then I actually broke one of the main rules of... Um, potato diet, which I've talked about before, is no oil. However, if you don't drizzle something on the potatoes when you're roasting them in the vegetables, they get super dried out, so you have to drizzle something on there. And I remember my wife has used this stuff before. This is just a little bit of salad dressing, poppy seed salad dressing. It does have uh, canola oil in it, but I didn't use much. I just brushed enough on there so that it would keep it from drying out. So I don't think I'll gain weight using that. Anyway, this was a success because I'm able to eat this here at work without going out to eat, going out and buying, you know, food that's bad for me. I still get to stick to my diet. All right, guys, that's the end of, um, of day, the end of day four and I personally am pretty proud of myself for this day I feel really good about it having with the obstacles that I had and the things that were in the way and um, it being day four which is historically bad um, being able to get through it and feel good about it I'm ready for day seven not because I'm gonna go out day seven and after day seven is over and just like go crazy but you know a tortilla would be good <laughs> some beans would be good but it's only day four I got this I got this and it went, I got through it now I'm on a day five see I'm going downhill thanks for watching um, I'll update tomorrow morning with um, my new weight